Welcome to the course, A Brief History of Humankind. As its name indicates, this course attempts to offer you a complete overview of the whole of human history, from the appearance of humankind in East Africa about two and a half million years ago, up to the technological and political revolutions of the 21st century, which may well lead to the disappearance of humankind. At the end of the course, I hope that you will have not only a clear general picture of human history, but also that you will have some clear answers to basic questions of history, such as what is religion, what is an empire, what is money, how does a capitalist economy function, why were men superior to women in almost all known human societies, did people become happier as history unfolded, and what is the likely future of humankind in the 21st century and beyond? This sounds very ambitious, and I promise you that it will be very superficial and very controversial. It will be superficial because history is very, very complex, and any attempt to give a complete account of the whole of history, especially in just 20 lessons, is bound to ignore many of the subtleties and many of the details. My aim is that you will nevertheless leave this course after 20 lessons with a complete picture of history in mind, even if that picture is somewhat like a caricature. If you wish, you could later fill up the details by attending other courses or reading more books. The story I will tell here is not only superficial, but also controversial. It represents the way that I personally understand history and not the way that all historians understand history, for there is simply no objective story that all historians in all the history departments in the world accept as the truth. If you asked 10 different historians to give this course, you will get 10 very, very different histories of the world and of humanity. So I hope that as you listen to these lectures, you don't take them simply as the truth about humankind and about its past, but more as an invitation to think about history and explore it for yourself. Before we begin the story of humankind, I would like to cover a few technical details about this course. Each lecture is, will be broken into several segments. It is best if you watch the entire lecture in one go, but if you find this too much, if you find the lecture too long, then you're always free to stop after a segment or two segments and continue listening to the next segment of the lesson in an hour, in a few hours or a few days. Even if you watch the entire lecture in one go, it might still be a good idea to stop for a few minutes after each segment and reflect and think about what you have heard. Since this is an introductory course to history, I don't assume any prior knowledge on your part of, of, of history. Even if you've never studied history in, in college or even in school, it should be very easy for you to join this course and to follow the lectures and to understand almost everything I, I, I speak about. And also, you don't need to read any books while taking this course in order to follow the lecture. Now, a book is being prepared to accompany this particular, this particular course. The German version of the book, titled Eine kurze Geschichte der Menschheit, will be published in October 2013. The English version and versions in many other languages, like Spanish and French and Chinese and so forth, will appear only towards the summer or fall of 2014. The book will cover basically the same issues as this course, but in greater depth. Uh, however, I want to emphasize that it is absolutely not essential uh, to read this book during the course or after the course, you can follow the course and understand everything and gain a very good understanding of the, of the uh, course of human history without uh, reading the accompanying book. Likewise, you don't need to do any assignments in order to join and to follow the course. The only real assignment that you have as the students is to think about what you hear. As I noted earlier, 
much of what I'm going to say is controversial. The course is going to challenge many widespread views about history, about humankind, about politics, economics, religion, and so forth. So I hope that you will take this up, this, that you will take up this challenge and think about, think about the issues being raised and discuss them with friends and family members and, and so forth. Uh, for those who like examinations, there will be an exam at the end of the course so we can test your knowledge and understanding of history. But this too, it's not a requirement. If you don't like exams, feel completely free to ignore it and not to take it. Having covered these technical issues, we can now begin to tell the story of humankind.